Hey guys, so I said that I wasn't going to buy any more books, but guilty as charged. Walmart first and I picked up two books because I wanted to read them forever but they never have them obviously at half price books it's really hit and miss there like sometimes you find great stuff other times you don't especially if you want a new release or a newer book um, usually they don't, have, they don't have them because people want to keep them so it's kind of hard to find good not good stuff but like special stuff, I should say. So, the first book I picked up was Blue Moon. Yay! This is the second book um, uh, to Evermore, so that's exciting. And Dreamcatcher, or no, Shadowland came out just recently, so I have to get that one too once I finish. And then, you guys have been bugging me. No, I'm just kidding. You guys have been telling me, please, please, please read this book. So, loop. I got it. Very good deal. I'm so excited to read this. I might push this up in the pile. Okay, then at Half Price Books, I did get quite a few. Um, they had a lot of good stuff this time. That's my um, For a dollar, I got Acquaintance with the Darkness by Anne Rinaldi. Let's see, dollar. And this book is about, it's um, historical fiction, and it's about two girls who um, witness President, no, they don't witness it. It's when President Lincoln is assassinated, and she goes to live with this girl named Emily, um, her mother dies, and she goes to live with, this action is bad, um, she goes to live with her uncle, and um, she realizes that maybe her uncle might have a hand in the murder and um, she also finds out that um, her best friend's parents was an accomplice to John Wilkes Booth which is the Lincoln's assassinator so I thought this would be good and I thought that this was funny this right, right here warning this is histor this is a historical novel read at your own risk the writer feels it necessary to alert you to the fact that you might actually enjoy it. I thought that was funny. Then I got, for two dollars, see, I got Dear John by Nicholas Sparks, and since this is coming, the movie's coming out soon, I thought it would be a cool book to read. Um, right? I'm starting to get into Nicholas Sparks. I never really used to like him. I liked The Notebook, but I hated the movie. So, um, yeah, I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate comments, but I really couldn't stand it. So I got that one. Then I got um, the audiobook of Boy Meets Boy by David Levithan. And I wanted to read this, but since I didn't have it, only $3. And they're usually like, what is this? $34.95 retail. Sweet. So I'm really excited about that. Then I got The Kidnapping of Christina Latmore, and this is about a girl who gets kidnapped, and um, she gets found, and her parents start to think that she possibly staged her own kidnapping, so she has to kind of prove them otherwise, so that looks interesting. And it was the Edgar Award Best Young Adult Mystery winner, and this is by Joan Lowry Nixon, so I thought that would be fun to read, and it's really super easy. And then, I'm so excited at all this, guys. Look at what they had. Shocking. And it was only five bucks. I'm so excited. And, um, of course, when I finally get this one, the other, the City of Ashes and City of Glass are gone. And they've been there, like, this whole time. But I'm so excited about this. I've heard so many good things about this. Cassandra Clare is amazing. So, um, that's obviously a good spy. And, um, good stuff. I got The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Zusak. And another really good book that I heard about. Um, I'm super excited to read this. It was 5 
and um, this is about a girl whose brother dies. Uh, I'll just read, and it's like around the Nazi Germany that kind of time, and she finds a book and she starts to steal books and. So I thought that would be good. I know I'm going to cry at the end. I just, I have a feeling. <laughs> then the last book. Okay. This has a funny story. I went to Barnes & Noble, which is a very, very bad idea when you don't have money. A lot of money. And, oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. I could spend so much money in there. It's insane. The young adult section is seriously my version of heaven. If there is a heaven, which I know there is, but oh my gosh, this is what it would be like. I swear. There's so many good books. And I think right now there's a sale going on where normal people get the uh, member discount price. So there's a lot of books that are like $9. So that's a really good deal. And they're like brand, brand spanking new. So I think I'm going to go down there tomorrow and get a few books that I really want. And then I'll be done until all of these books are gone because after that there's nothing really else that I really was looking for. So anyway, um, I picked up this book and another one by the same author and I was about to buy them because they were $10 each. Sorry. They were $10 each and I was like, okay, 20 bucks for two books, that's not too bad because I knew that they wouldn't have them at half price books. And then I thought, no, I don't have a lot of money. I could get like three or four books for the price of what one book would cost, like $10, and um, I just put them back and I decided not to get them. Fast forward to when I went to um, Half Price Books, the guy was like totally rude and in my way, I was trying to look at stuff and he was like bending in front of me and like putting books away and kind of like totally ignoring me, like I was... I don't know, like I had an invisibility cloak on or something. Finally, I was like, okay, fine. So I left and went to the clearance section where I found a couple of the books over there. And um, then I came back to see maybe if he was done finishing the books. And he wasn't, but he was like in a different section of the young adult. And like the section that's like younger kids, like 9 to 12. And so um, I looked. And sure enough, they had one of the books that I wanted, and it was only like four dollars. Yeah. So this is the last book I got. Kiss by an Angel by Elizabeth Chandler. And oh God, I wanted to read this so bad, and I got a bookmark. Oops. This is a half price book, book bookmark. That's what they look like. Let's see. Um. Anyway, this is about a um, girl named Ivy, and her boyfriend Tristan dies, and um, kind of becomes her guardian angel. And this is three books in one. These books are older; they're they were written a while back. But they were like were brought back. And um, there's Kiss by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. And the other one I wanted to get was Dark Secrets, but um, I think. I might go back and get the other one because now I like, I'm really fascinated by this author. So those are all the books I got. I think I did really good. I'm really excited. And there are a couple books that I want to read so, so bad that I'm going to go get tomorrow. And so I'm so excited. Yay. Um, thank you so, so much to all the people that commented on my last video. You guys are so sweet, and I love you so much. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. You guys are so great, and I love you all. I can't believe I'm already up to almost 60, I think, now. Oh, that's so insane to me. Six, almost 60 people want to watch my videos. Like, I never thought that that would happen. I don't know. Like, people are interested in what I think and what I want to read and what I'm doing in my life. I think that's so cool. But anyway, um, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I totally understand the Twilight thing, and Barnes & Noble was insane because Barnes & Noble is right next door to the movie theater, and New Moon obviously came out, which was really good. I already said, said that, though. But anyways, so um, I think it's hilarious that everybody is saying, oh, Wuthering Heights was so good. Romeo and Juliet was so good. I love all those people, blah, blah, blah. 
and they only read them because they were mentioned in Twilight. And I was like, oh my god, I, start, I, I read Wuthering Heights when I was like 12. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny that people think, oh, they're so great. I always loved that, blah, blah, blah. But they only heard of them just now. And I think it's funny that they're like coming out with like the new cover, so they look all cool now. And I think it's funny that they're bringing it back. I'm happy that they are because I think classic literature is very important for young adults. But. I just think it's funny that they kind of redid it to kind of move in on the hype of the vampires in Twilight and stuff, but um, there were so many people that were talking about Twilight. I struck up a conversation with a couple of them, and I finally found somebody that's Team Jacob, and so we're BFFs now, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.